All right, so today we're gonna be completing the new player survey that just dropped for Global. And while I don't see anything here about a reward for completing the survey, um, we're still gonna do it anyways, since I do feel like these surveys are important for the progression of the game. So without further ado, let's uh, pop over to the link here and jump into it. Okay, so question number one. What are your thoughts about high difficulty events? Okay, so obviously this is gonna be different for different players depending on how long you've been playing, depending on, you know, the uh, strength of your box and all that stuff. But for me personally, I do want more challenges. So I'm gonna go with, um, I would like more of these types of events. Okay, number two. What is your expectation for the friend function? Okay, very interesting question. And the options are, I would like to play against friends, for sure. I would like to team up with friends, definitely. I would like to interact with friends. Um, that sounds kind of like the other ones. So, sure, why not? And the last one is, I am satisfied with the current function. No need for changes. Okay, I think we can all agree that the friend function or the friend system could definitely be improved. So nobody choose that one, but uh, let me see. Oh, so we can't choose all of them. All right, so I guess the one that's closest to what I would like is team up with friends because playing against friends kind of sounds like PVP and obviously that could be kind of iffy depending on how they implement it. So let's go with team up since that's more co-op and I do really want to do stuff like raid bosses like actual real-time raid bosses against like an Omega Shenron or a full power Broly or something like that that would be awesome so I'll go with team up with friends and question three is what is the reason why you want to include a character on your team so number one is I would like to see the character's animation so I build a team focused around that character and join various events regardless of the difficulty level. Interesting. Okay, number two is I would like to check the character's performance so I build a team that includes that character and play the difficult content. Uh, number three, the character works well with other characters on the team. Okay, so that is I guess usually why I include certain characters on a team because they synergize well with the other units, they link well and stuff like that. So. Um, I'll go with three, but sometimes, you know, you just include characters you like, right? Sometimes you just build a team of, like, animations you like watching or whatever, but for the most part, I do build teams because the units uh, synergize well. So that's my answer. Number four, what is your expectation for the international version in the future? Implementing characters at the same time as the Japanese version. So basically syncing up releases. That would be insane. That would be insane. Now, do I ever see them doing this? I mean, I think we've been asked about this um, before in other surveys, and obviously it hasn't happened yet, but I will answer the same way every time. I will say I do want to see simultaneous releases on both sides, although you could argue that, you know, the main advantage to being a global player, aside from being able to read everything, is, uh, you know, having JP as a preview of what's to come in the future and, uh, you know, being able to budget your stones accordingly, right? So um, I know some people don't want these simultaneous releases, but for me, I mean, it just kind of sucks to have to wait so long for hype units sometimes. So yeah, I think it would be great if they synced up the releases. I don't really think it's going to happen, but... A man can dream, right? So that is my answer. And the other options here are implementing characters prior to the Japanese version. So uh, essentially global first units and adding content exclusive to the international version, uh, global exclusive stuff. Now, the only real global exclusive stuff we've had so far would be anything related to like the Pilaf's Trove packs. Well, I mean, not really Pilaf's Trove anymore since they got rid of that, but you know, those like special packs in the stone shop, JP does not have those. And uh, also a few banners here and there, like the Power Surge banner we're about to get, and also like the Halloween banners and stuff like that, right? So, um, 
sure, why not? I don't mind stuff like that, but they're never really that significant, right? And uh, when it comes to global first, that's also cool. But between these three options, the same time simultaneous release thing is definitely the number one priority. Okay, moving on to question number five. What is your expectation for the producer's letter? Uh, new information about characters and events, communication with the operation team via surveys, etc. Uh, other free answer, and I have no specific expectations. Um, I mean, honestly, all I'm looking for is information about upcoming events and characters in the game, so I think that's fine. The surveys are cool, and I would like to see more surveys in the future, but we gotta see whether they actually implement the stuff that we ask for in these surveys, right? Like mainly, are we actually gonna be getting an update for the friend system where we can do co-op events in real time with friends? And are we actually gonna get same time releases going forward? Like I don't really see it happening unless they mean, you know, like the worldwide celebration, which, uh, you know, does happen every year where we get the same banners at the same time and also Saiyan Day, like those are the two times, and also the New Year's Step Up banner, right? So those are the three things that we get at the same time as JP every single year. Wait, hold on. Oh, there's also the uh, Dragon Ball Heroes collab. So four things, four things we get at the same time as JP. But everything else, all the Dokkan Fest banners, the Legendary Summon banners, you know, Global's always delayed. So I don't really know if they're talking about that stuff. Are they talking about actually syncing up everything or just adding like one or two more banners every year that come out on both sides at the same time? Uh, we'll have to see. Um, you know, when I answered the question, I meant that I want to see everything be synced up, but uh, that's going to be tough to do for sure. So I don't really expect it to happen. But anyways, um, question number six is just other comments, free answer. Ah, <sighs> what do I want to say to the operation team? Um, I feel like some people are going to be really mean here, but I'm actually feeling great today. I'm feeling very positive, so I'm going to leave a positive message. Okay, let's just go with keep up the great work, exclamation mark. There you go. Okay, so we hit confirm and register oh failed to claim the rewards well that's nice hold on I think they actually said something about this in the news here um, updated an issue has been found where the screen that appears after you answer the survey is different from expected your reply will be sent after you tap the register button and you do not have to answer the survey again we sincerely apologize for any inconvenience caused. Okay, so that's probably what a lot of people are seeing right now, and uh, you don't have to worry about it. It seems like our survey results get recorded either way. And it said something about rewards. Let me just check my gift box here to see if there's no rewards. Okay, so I guess we're just not getting stones for this survey. But once again, once again, this time, I'm not doing it for the stones. I'm doing it for the future of the game, to improve the game, you know, so it's fine, it's not a big deal. But if we happen to get a couple of stones later on for the survey, I would not complain. I wouldn't mind. But anyways, there you go guys, that is the new player survey. Uh, some very interesting questions were asked and uh, I'm hoping they do implement some of the stuff that we ask for. Um, but time will tell, time will tell. Anyways, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.